How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the Ups of Fishing. Me, your boy D. So if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below, hit that thumbs up, and let's get this video started because I am so excited about this fall season. You guys should be too. Stay tuned. So in this video, I will simply be talking about my arsenal, my lure choices, and the species that I'm after, right? These three things. I want to share with you guys what I'm thinking when I'm out there fishing for fall fish yeah it is because i've been getting a lot of questions about what lure what arsenal like rods and reels do i use for this fall season and what is my opinion on it and i'm here to share with you guys because i think it's been a while since i sat down and talked to you guys like what i do right so and i know you guys are wondering why i'm not doing a lot of like salmon fishing because salmon fishing is hot and honestly i've been now salmon fishing and i've been just going for fun right i'm just enjoying the the last two three outings that i've gone with my friends in them i just really wanted to enjoy the beauty of it right because i know they're gonna die anyways the salmon are coming upstream they're gonna do their thing and die i don't know i, I didn't think it was worth the video because we caught a couple but it was nothing like dramatic because there's just shallow water you have to understand just shallow water and they die once you catch them nothing particular nothing for me to teach there you just throw willy buggers and orange and red flies and they just eat it set the hook they run for like two minutes after that they start fainting and that's the fight nothing exciting but if you guys want to see that leave it in the comments down below i'll do some salmon fishing so back to what this video is all about fall fishing has just started because of the season the way how it's looking it is not over yet so white bass and walleye is definitely still hot in oshkosh wisconsin on the fox river and i'm going to show you guys what my arsenal what i like to do for white bass and walleyes and why i do it so here it is let's start off with the rod and reel okay rod and reel is always fun you guys all know me i like cheap simple affordable setup combos lures etc right because i know not everybody is rich not everybody can afford 200 300 dollar combos so here it is and i'm gonna talk to you guys about it first off i want to start off with this simple combo right here as you guys see in all my videos i've been using this combo a lot which is the pissima carbon x 1000 you guys can see here and the 13 defi defi something like that the name is right there and it's the silver model right this rod is cheap when I say cheap, it's $30, $40. It's in within that range. I got them at Farm and Fleet and Fleet Farm. To me, this is like the perfect combo for you to be using out on the Fox River for walleyes, white bass, and panfish. In general, you can catch tons of fish. And I'll explain why. So this ultralight rod allows me to jig efficiently. Um, it gives, it's 6'6". It gives me that perfect cast, that long distance cast that I need to cast these lighter baits on. The rod and reel just go well with each other it's well balanced again it's sensitive it's ultra light i'm using eight pound braid with eight pound fluorocarbon even i go lighter than that i go six pound test and i recommend you guys check it out links down below i'll leave all the links of this whole setup here the rod and the reel this is the combo that i've been using in all my videos the next combo that you guys been wondering about is this shorter uh i believe this is like the five six yep five six ultra light same model okay same brand i mean Again, it has the Carbon X 1000 right here. The rod itself is really light. It's smaller. It's a 5.6. It allows me to cast under bridges and tight spaces where a lot of people can't get to. And I'm fishing this on 6 pound test. This guy allows me to jig very, very efficient because of the shorter rod. It gives me a really good hook set because of the length it is, right? I can really sweep it really hard and I can pin the white bass and walleye that are under the bridges. It's $40 and what, $60, $70. Another rod that I just picked up is this seven foot they all look the same okay they literally look all the same but this handle is a little longer it's a seven foot this is the two piece this is the light action now, i like this a lot when i'm fishing deeper water right because i then i can really sweep my bait and i can sweep the hooks that harder and i can keep the white bass and walleyes pinned the reel that i have on here is temporary right now I'm working on putting on my other Pistofan Carbon next to here, but I use this 7 foot light action. I like this brand a lot for some reason. Again, it's so affordable, it's sensitive, it's very, um, I don't know, me and the rod itself, we're just, man, we tight, you know. <laughs> man, if they can make this into a one piece, that would be awesome, but it is what it is. 7 foot, doesn't matter, helps you catch a lot of fish. Check it out. Again, links down below. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the lure choices, right? A lot of you guys have been asking what kind of lures do I use and why do I use it and who am I and what's my social security number, where do I live? 
what date of birth am I? <laughs> Anyways, um, the lure that I like to use out there right now, the bayfish are coming up hard, okay? They're coming up real hard in these cold water. I don't know what they're doing down there, but they're here, right? And a lot of the white bass and walleyes are still here. As you guys see in the videos, I've been throwing a lot of like this paddle tail and this uh, Bobby Garland plastic. I don't even know if I have it here somewhere. Um, I think it's in here somewhere. Here, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick a color that I think is good, okay? So these are the brand that I like to use. These are the Bobby Garland. They work great. They like that shad action tails type stuff. So that's what it is right there. It looks like a literally a, a bait fish. So I think it's pretty cool, right? I don't know if it's focusing, but yeah, that's what it is right there. The other guy's a straight tail. That's actually a mini finesse boot tail action. These are just a straight tail right here. So you guys can see. Get a real close up right there. It keeps focusing on my face, but that's what it is right there. And you see how like I'm barely shaking that tail is just crazy action. So the straight tail and the little blue tail, these are the difference. I get mine at Dick Smith's Bay Shop. So or you go to like discount tackle. They have all this cool stuff too. I'll leave all the links down below. Everything's gonna be linked down below so you guys can check it out and go catch some fish for yourself. I throw all these plastic on one eighth ounce jig heads, one sixteen. One sixteen is the lighter version, one eighth is like heavier than that, okay? Again, I like the lighter presentation, but you don't have to go that light. If you're fishing deeper, go one eighth or go one fourth. Usually my go-to one eighth and one sixteen. Yes. I prefer that white red eyes and that green or red eyes, whatever it is. That creamy white too. They all work great. Doesn't really matter. I don't think so. But in certain watercolor, sure. Another bait that I like to use for my fall fishing, right? You guys all know in my latest video is that blade fish fishing. I don't have that lure anymore, so I can't really recommend it. I can't even find it at Myers anymore. I actually went to the stores. I just can't find it. I don't know what happened to it, but it's. I think it's a stoppers brand if that's what it was if i remember correctly right stoppers brand something like that what i did was i did find another one and the color was like that orange red and i not i'm not a big fan of that color yet so i just took it and i spray painted the blade bay itself <laughs> i try to i try to you know make it into like that silver color it's like the, the original color is actually that orange right there that red orange but Blade Bay works great. Another Blade Bay that I really highly recommend is these Damiki lipless right here. I mean, not lipless, Blade Baits. So I don't know if you guys can see that. This guy right here is killer. I use it in the fall all the time. I'm just really excited to go out and throw some Blade Baits now on a boat. So stay tuned. Now, I know that you guys have been asking me about like, what do I do or how do I do it? What well, base do I use? Uh, what I think about when I'm fishing for walleyes and white bass out on the Fox River in Oshkosh. Now, I want you guys to understand that the water is getting colder, right? Okay, let me start this off. When I go out and I see people pumping flies or minnows, they are pumping it way too fast. Slow down because you guys are pulling that bait away from them. Sure, you might get a couple bite, the, the aggressive bite that are the ones that are hunting and hungry, but I guarantee you, if you just slow down on your pumping with the flies or uh, minnows on your Wolf River rig, your chances of catching fish will be like higher, right? And I did that before too, where I just went out and I thought that, oh, it's the bait, it's the fall bite, they gotta be aggressive, they gotta be feeding, so they gotta be hitting faster bait. Not true at all. Me and my buddy, we went out, we did that for like, what, five hours? Almost six hours and we couldn't get one bite. We decided to death stick the minnow and just slowly pop and drag it. We started picking up walleyes from left and right. Nose rig, the minnows or uh, goat minnow. If you're pumping flies, really slow down because the water is getting colder, the fish are more subtle. Slow down and you will find the fish and they will come and eat it. Be patient, yeah. Even when you're fishing blade baits, you go out there, you could go to the lake side, throw blade baits as far as you can on 8 pound, 10 pound fluorocarbon, 8 pound, 10 pound braid, whatever. And when you pop it, make the pause a lot slower. You could cast it out there as far as you can. Once it lands, slow pop it, you know, like, like just rate, don't rip it, but just lift it up, let it fall back down and let it sit there. Let the fish like draw the attention of the fish and then slow pop it really tight just at the bottom. They'll, I promise you, they'll pick it up or you can cast it out there and retrieve it really slow and just let it drop. It's the same thing, slow it down, okay.
So that was just a quick video of me talking to you guys, um, sharing my thoughts of what I do out there. If there's any more questions, please leave the comments down below. I can't remember all of them. I'm trying to like pack up and get ready to go fishing too. But I thought I'd do a little video for you guys and just talk to you guys about uh, what I'm doing out there, how I'm finding them, and etc. Don't be afraid to contact me. All my information is down below. Hit up my Instagram. You guys don't have Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me, follow me. That way you guys could just write to me. And I'll do my best to reply to you guys because I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of uh, messages. So I'll do my best to reply. I'll try my best to reply fast and yeah, stuff like that. So so now we're off to walleye fishing. Stay tuned. Do I know where? I have no idea. So I'm, I got to go out there and try it out and figure it out myself. So yes. So if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below. Please leave some comments down below because I really want to know what you guys think and what you guys want to know. That way I can make more videos like this and break it down and just talk to you guys what you guys should do or shouldn't do or what I can do or what I can't do and what I would do or what I wouldn't do, right? I, I want to share this stuff with you guys. If you guys don't comment and let me know, then I, I wouldn't know what to do. Thank you guys so much for all the views. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys out in the water.